Hello YouTube, I'm Pedro from the Wicked Cat team. On the last video, we kept working with the standard shader. I show you guys how to create normal maps using the XNormal plugin and apply them to your materials. Today, we are going to continue to explore the standard shader of Unity 5. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, and if you want more Unity 5 tutorials, remember to subscribe to our channel. Picking, a web, picking up where we left off, the next parameter in our materials, as you guys can see, is the high map. The high mapping or parallel mapping is a similar concept to the normal mapping, but more expensive for the processor. This kind of maps are usually used with normal maps in order to create extra definition when rendering large bumps. The main difference between normal and hype maps is that while normal maps modify the lightning that hits the surface of the material, the hype map shifts areas of the visible surface. This allows hype maps to achieve a kind of surface level occlusion. A hype map, while the, the normal map is actually this bluish has this bluish color, the hype map is actually a grayscale image of the um, albedo texture. So white areas of the image will represent high areas, while darker areas of the image will represent low areas. So let's quickly move back to Photoshop. And now I'm going to show you guys how to create a high map. So as you guys can see, I have a, a wall texture right here. And before we actually create a high map, let's quickly create a normal map for it. So I'm going to be quick doing this. If you guys want to see this in more detail, remember to watch the previous video where I show you guys how to do this. So first, let's apply the surface blur filter. All right. Next, let's reduce the saturation to minus 100. Next, brightness contracts, let's change this to 31, 10 for example. And now we go to filter and we apply X normal height to normals. And we click continue and here we have it, our normal map. Let's just save it as normal. Okay. Let me close the texture and now let's open the albedo again. And now let's create the high map. Okay, so this is actually a sim uh, more simple process than creating normal maps because you don't have to install any extra plugin to Photoshop. You can do it with just the regular version. So, first things first, let's apply the surface blur. So, filter, blur, and I'm going to choose surface blur. Let's just hit OK. And now, for the next step, let's just turn the saturation to minus 100 as well. So, image adjustments, hue saturation, and here on saturation minus 100. So now you have a gray scale version of the image. And if you want to increase the difference of heights in the image, what you can even do is go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness, Contrast, here on the top, and you can act, increase the contrast value, as you guys can see. This will increase the difference between the, the white and the darker areas. So let's just leave it right here, it seems good. Okay. And this is it, this is how you create a height map texture, so as you guys can see it's very very easy to do. Let's just save it and call it height, save it, ok. So let's move back to Unity now. Ok, I'm going to create a new folder here, let's call it wall. And now I'm actually going to import these three textures to Unity. Dragging them over here. 
and let's unity import the files okay now you have the albedo the height and the normal textures in unity next I'm going to create a new material I'm going to call it wall okay and we'll need something to apply this material so let's go to game object 3d object and create a cube right here let's move it to this side and scale it so we can actually see it okay now I'm going to apply the wall material to our cube okay so now we have the, the wall applied so next thing I'm going to do is to apply the albedo texture to the material so I'm going to select the material albedo and I'm going to apply it right here so if we move closer what you guys actually can see at this surface looks kind of flat so you don't have any bumps on the surface right so next thing I'm going to do is to actually apply the normal uh, we have to hit here fix now and if you guys take a closer look you will notice that we already have some differences let me just increase for example for 3 3 is too much perhaps 2 no too much as well um, 1 let's leave it to 1 uh, as you guys can see right here you can already see that the light is behaving differently when it hits the wall Ah, here on top you can see it better so let me just none so this is the wall without normals and when we apply the normal you can see that the light has, acts already differently creating a more realistic look now what I'm actually going to do now is to apply the height to the height map field on material so as you guys can already see the difference it gives a very realistic look and I can even change I can even change the, the value here that is applied in order to create a bigger dif big, difference, deep big difference on the height so this is a little bit too much let's reduce it a little bit something like this perhaps and if you take a little move a little bit closer we actually see that we now have a, a very realistic wall right here and actually is a flat surface of the cube but the way the light hits it, the surface it creates the illusion that this is actually several meshes combined so it gets a very very realistic look uh, okay guys so this is how you create and use height maps in with the standard shader in unity 5 on the next video we are actually going to move to the next parameter of the standard shader the occlusion map hope you guys enjoyed it and until the next video have a nice day